Hey, you're welcome. In this video, I will share with you how you can use AI to create or design book covers, 3D book covers, just like this one you are seeing for free. This is very important because if you are a digital marketer, a content creator, a course creator, a business person, entrepreneur, sales person, you need to create lead magnets, right? To attract or generate leads for your business so as to get potential customers or clients. Most times, these lead magnets are ebooks, right? So you want to have a professional or a 3D book cover to promote your lead magnet. And this is why I am creating this right now. All right, let's get started. Now, all you need to do is go to ideogram.ai ensure you turn off this magic prompt this helps to kind of refine your prompt but we don't need that now to make this very easy for you i have decided to share this prompting style with you so i've tested more than 100 prompts for book cover design and i found two styles that are consistent you can use it to create your own book cover as well this is the first prompt style with some examples and this is the second one so basically this is the prompt then we have some placeholders like niche uh book title author name brief description of the book's main idea and specific visual description now let's just practicalize this let's see so I'll just paste the prompt here and you click on generate. Make sure the magic prompt is turned off. So why that is generating, let's go back to this. Now let's look at another example. So this is example two. It is still the same prompting style, but the uh, placeholders, you just want to change the information in the placeholders like this niche fitness guide. So, it could be um, a fantasy novel, right? So it depends. It could be niche or genre. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's just like filling in the blank. Just do that and you will get a good result. And boom, we have our book covers. Here is the thing. So there are two ways in which you can do this. Now you see everything here is like in 3D, right? But then there is something you can do. You can decide to remove this 3D. Okay, now let's look at this. Look at this one everything the text looks perfect uh the title the name so let's look at the difference so here we actually use just create a book cover we did not put create a 3d book cover right and also this is another version right where we actually um, use the 3d we use create a 3d book cover you can see the difference right look at this side it shows it is a book Look at this is not a 3d version right the reason i'm showing you these two things is there is no crime this is ai just do multiple iterations do the 3d add 3d remove 3d just do the two and get what works for you i hope that was very clear so let's do another example personally i prefer this you can see i prefer this compared to this aside this that is showing i prefer the other one okay so i decided to do another iteration and i found this now this looks close to perfect right i will show you how you can do some modifications with this but then um you can see what i'm trying to see right i have multiple iteration a digital marketing social media mastery leveraging social platforms for business growth we have um this and we have a delicate summer to an extent i'll say it is not bad right once you are done with um the design you can just click to download all right so let's just try one more example using this same style let's see what happens okay so we have another one here fitness guide yoga for beginners okay you'll notice some of the text are not that perfect right fitness guide yoga for beginner introduction to poses breathing and mindfulness for total beginners let's do one more iteration for this while we are waiting for this to load kindly like this video 
drop a comment and also share with other people okay so let's see what we have here okay so this is under iteration let's look at another one now this is close to perfect we can make some um, adjustment with this but here is the thing if you want the text to be perfect just remove the 3d i think uh in the prompt guide i'll remove that 3d keyword now if you wish to generate a 3d book cover just add 3d but without a 3d it is perfect fitness guide yoga for beginners introduction to poses breathing mindfulness and well the text is still kind of but then this is better compared to the previous one right now let's try the second prompt style you can also try out these other examples anyway now the second prompt style now the difference is we just remove this for a niche for a niche place order right the niche place order so we just went direct so let's try it out let's see okay look at this leveraging no this looks okay aside the fact that the names appeared twice i'll show what you can do anyway if there is one thing i want to take out of this particular tutorial remember this is ai so multiple iterations will give you what you are looking for now let's do something else let's remove this 3d and just generate let's see what happens all right so let's look at the results of this generation now this looks good the name is perfect the title is perfect the icon is perfect as well and we have um, the subtitle leveraging organic search this is almost perfect leveraging organic search traffic for business growth wow it got in fact this is actually good we have tested from style one and also prompting style two now let me now show you how you can have even more control over what it gives you so we'll be using another tool that i think many of you are familiar with so let me see the one we can use so let's pick i think we should pick this one now we'll be using a tool that many of you are familiar with which is canva so here is the thing i've given you options right so first thing use the one with 3d multiple iterations keep iterating till you find what you are looking for remove the 3d and just have a book cover without the 3d form right also do multiple iterations till you find what you are looking for but then if you want something even more better or let me say close to perfect all you need to do is go to canva many of you already use canva you want to click on upload file so upload the images that you downloaded let's start with this let's start with this so make it fit make it fit so what we want to remove we want to remove this second name here all you need to now do is select the image click on edit image now i think you need pro version for this then uh, click on grab text that's all you need to do click on grab text let it load now once it is done loading okay unfortunately it's it picked both text but yeah let's click on grab text let's see now it, it is editable so i'll just remove can you see now that is removed you cannot even decide oh let me add l you can see it is not editable you can even decide to make some adjustment and there we have it you can also do the same thing for this let me see if we can do something about that i'm just showing how you can make this even more perfect so select the text you want to grab and click on grab text so basically we are using ideogram for the generation and canva for the editing for the ones that requires editing so for this i'll just put you can decide to even remove it but let's say we want to put something there d2 marketing guide okay that's not too good 
okay let's make it can you see now we have something close to perfect and uh, this icon just click on edit image again and use magic grab so the magic grab and the grab text both are amazing ai tools by canva that you can use now aside even for book cover design or editing there are other use cases if you run adverts but that's not the focus of this video anyway and if you are liking this video if you love what i've been teaching please do well to like subscribe and also comment so here is the thing if you use so there are two options magic grab by brush or click so if you decide to click this it will remove like to affect the old thing meanwhile you just want just this object so instead of click i'll use brush now just brush it out so you have two options either do multiple iterations till you find what you are looking for or look for one that is kind of okay then perfect it using canva so those are the two uh, options for you now you might be asking okay why not just have all of these things designed i will come back to that so you can see we have removed mm, we removed it but it's not that perfect right uh let's see so another thing another option here is the magic eraser so let's see if this will work okay it's still almost the same okay so let's let's just um leave it for the sake of this tutorial all right so i'll go to this element so let's embed an icon so i'll just search social media icons i just hope this tutorial is not getting too long let me just pick one here guys let me just pick one of course you can always take out time to make sure everything is on point right but then i'm time conscious okay so we have something here this marketing guy social media mastery leveraging so of course this can be better right i just want to show you what you can do but i believe i've been able to show you how you can even further modify your design to make some adjustment and all of that look at the previous one look at this right i believe um this tutorial is even more in depth meanwhile if you want to access this go to adelikesamuel.com forward slash b o p to give you access to this prompt now one more thing if you want to have total control of the design process the text icon and all of that there was this tutorial i created four years ago and it is still valid up to today evergreen tutorial so go check it out now uh this is you can see I created this like four years ago i see use canva with another tool to transform the canva design to 3d so go check it out go to adelicasimon.com forward slash 3d i still use the same process even in 2024 so go check it out and i hope you would enjoy the video so thank you for uh watching this tutorial like drop a comment and also subscribe share with your friends your business colleagues and your community and i will see you in my next video bye for now